In this video here, what I want to do is I want to walk you through the challenge exercise for section 1.2 of the textbook. So here's the first one. Uh, this is talking about types of graphs. So it says identify the type of graph shown. So what you see here is it says the number of um, children per household and it has the number of children. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the frequencies of each. So it says what type of graph is this? So the two options are a dot plot or a histogram. Well, if you look here, do you notice how these are like dots and also there's spaces between them? A histogram would look like a, a bars stacked right next to each other. So this is a dot plot here. Yes, we got it. Okay, let's see what the next one is. So identify the type of graph shown here. So it looks here like we have, looks like semesters. Okay, spring, right, fall, spring, fall, spring, fall. And then the percent passed. And it said past, pre, and past, pre, and post. And notice how there's two different bars and they're stacked on top of each other. So it looks like this is a stacked bar chart. Yes, we got it. All right, let's now move into the next one here and talk about misleading graphs. So which of the following is misleading and why? So if you look here and here, um, the graphs look incredibly different, right? Like just looking at it here. Um, but notice the scaling here, right? Like this one starts at 350 and this one starts at zero. And if you look here, right, the difference to go from 350 to 365, this bar looks like it's like twice as much as this, but the, the scaling is off here. So we're gonna pick, we're gonna pick graph two is the misleading one and why? Since the vertical axis does not start at zero, zero, the difference between years is exaggerated. Great, we got it. And also here, which of the following pie, pie charts is misleading and why? So it looks like here, um, you, you can see it says social media profile status and social media action, and then it has 200 users. So you have to figure out which one of these is um, misleading. And so first off, if you just look at, um, you know, you can do it like this options here. Like if you look at these percentages here, like there's no way those add up to 100%. So we're gonna click this graph is misleading because these percentages do not add up to 100%. All right class, I hope that that uh, helps seeing how to tackle these in section 1.2.